Art Centre Melbourne presents Lauren Hayes, a Together Experiences film. In a dimly lit, richly appointed theatre, below a green exit sign, a Caucasian woman with blonde short hair navigates with a white cane. Her face fills the screen. I think having been born blind, initially I didn't really think anything of it. I just assumed that I was the same as everybody else. It probably wasn't until perhaps middle to late primary school years and uh, started getting bullied a little bit. Empty auditorium, rows of plush red chairs. She sits in the second row. So when I was 15, I auditioned for our high school musical. There were some scenes that required some fairly physical and raunchy dance movements and the directors said, this is too hard, we don't know how to teach you. Gradually, the auditorium fills with patrons. I was 15 at the time. The kind of age when you're really figuring out what you're doing with your life and just trying to to fit in. From a really young age, my independence was always encouraged and so it was a heart sinking moment but it was also, I, I was just like, well why, why can't I do this? I've had people ask me, well you probably don't go to movies do you or the theatre because it's a bit boring because it's all visual. I don't know how you do it, I wouldn't probably do it if I couldn't see. Her face fills the screen, then a new view, her profile, the rest in shadow. She puts on overhead earphones, eyes closed. In the darkness, white chalk on a black background, the moon on water. So audio description is where visual elements of a performance are described. Light ripples across the surface of the stage as if moved by wind. So they might describe the set for the opening scene. Two men sit in a life raft, alone. And body movements. One man smiles, while behind his back he hides a dagger. I can then relate it to things that I've experienced. If someone is sitting at a desk or something. I'll imagine myself at that desk and what it might be like. I would say that's not any different for me than what it is for a sighted person. It's just the way that we get that information is slightly different. Lauren, headphones on, joining in with applause in the auditorium. With television or listening to a soundtrack of something, you're often in isolation in live theatre you have people around you who are experiencing this together. The auditorium lights come up and Lauren talks to her friend seated next to her with a guide dog whilst they both clap. White text on a black background. Lauren Hayes believes that theatre should be accessible to everyone, including people with vision impairment or low vision. With audio description technology, Art Centre Melbourne makes it possible. Filmed prior to COVID-19 restrictions. Art Centre Melbourne, Creative Victoria.